These are Dart's Iron Eagle cylinder heads. They're widely known as one of the best performance values on the market. But we wanted to test to see what the performance for value was really like, so we came up with an idea. And here is the engine builder's classic bargain. A set of stock Chevy cylinder heads I picked up for 50 bucks. We're going to take them all the way through a dyno comparison and see how they actually add up. Our dart heads are a set of new Iron Eagle Ascast heads. We ordered them up with fairly standard 64cc combustion chambers, 180cc intake runners, and straight cut plugs. We also got them complete from dart with 2 inch 20 thousandths intake valves and 1 inch 600 thousandths exhaust. Valve springs that are capable of handling over 600 thousandths valve lift, locks, and retainers. Our plan is to test these heads exactly as they came out of the box. We're not touching a thing on these bad boys but it's a different story with the stock Chevy heads. Here's a look at what 50 bucks will get you these days. Not much. These are Chevrolet 882 large chamber heads. We would have preferred a pair of the more performance oriented double hump heads, but most of those have been picked over by racers and not only are they difficult to find, but a well used pair will probably run you upwards of $300. We enlisted the help of performance engine builder Jeff Dorton of Automotive Specialists to assist us with our test. After an initial inspection of the heads, where we discovered these heads have already been repaired and worked over with oversized exhaust valve guides, the first step was a thorough cleaning and a session in the blasting cabin. After noticing some signs of previous repair work, we took the precaution to magnifix both heads and found small cracks around one of the exhaust valve seats. Because of that, Dorton went to the effort to pressure test that head for a leak. Thankfully, we didn't find a leak and our comparison could continue. If this head were going in a car, however, it would be trashed and we'd be back to square one, but we decided we could risk it for the dyno test. Next up on the repair refurbish task list is pulling the pressed in rocker studs because they simply won't hold up in a performance application. After that, a couple hours were required to cut down the rocker stud bosses and cut and tap them for screw in studs. The Iron Eagles not only arrive with provisions for screw in studs, the dart even includes the studs and the pushrod guide plate, so all that time and money is saved on the new head. Following that, Dorton moved on to install new valve guides in the stock Chevy heads. This is an expensive step, but one you shouldn't avoid. New guides cost about 10 bucks each, so that's about 160 bucks, plus around another $150 for labor just to install the guides, cut them down to accept seals, and hone them to the correct size for the valve stem but putting new valves in worn guides will lead to excessive valve wear and that increases the likelihood of a broken valve which can destroy your engine. Because the 882 cylinder heads aren't exactly known as performance pieces, we wanted to give them every chance to be competitive against the Dart Iron Eagle. So when it came time to cut new valve seats, Dorton pulled out all the stops and Dorton used the same CNC controlled precision equipment to cut our valve seats as he uses for his sprint cup head. Besides an ultra precise valve job, he also opened up the intake valve as much as possible. We were able to add another 200 thousandths of an inch on the intake to get the valve diameter up to 1 inch 940 thousandths, but we couldn't go any farther because it started intruding into the exhaust valve seat. But we're still a long way off from the 2 inch 20 thousandths intake valve that Dart installs on its head. After that, Dorton spent some quality time hand blending the new larger seats into the port. This is definitely more love than any pair of 882 heads deserves to receive, but again, we wanted to give them every advantage. Meanwhile, the Dart Iron Eagle sat on the workbench ready and waiting. By the way, the value of what Dorton is doing is worth over a grand on these stock heads, but to keep the cost comparison fair, we decided to charge a market value of $200. Finally, we decked the Chevy heads not only to square everything up, but also to reduce the chamber size as much as possible. Automotive Specialist was able to cut several thousandths off the deck until they actually started cutting into the intake valve seat. After CCing the chambers, they measured out at 69 cc's, which is still five larger than the 64 cc Iron Eagle. All told, we spent the better part of three days working on these Chevy heads. Conservatively calculated, we spent $730 on parts including valves, springs, guides, rocker studs, guide plates, retainers, locks, and everything else required to get these heads in their shape. On top of that, we figured a market rate of $840 in labor. And again, this is a conservative number. Altogether, we're talking $1,570 just to get a pair of used stock heads into running condition. For comparison's sake, 
The Dart Iron Eagles that are ready to run right out of the box can be had for around $1,250 complete. Next up came a complete test of each head's ability to move air on the flow gun. Jordan flowed both heads back to back to get a true comparison. And while we knew that the stock heads were significantly improved compared to the way they left the factory thanks to these new larger valve seats, it was surprising to see just how much they lagged behind the Iron Eagle. At 500 thousandths of an inch of valve lift, the reworked Chevy heads produced a respectable 193.6 CFM of flow through the intake ports and 117.5 through the exhaust. But that paled in comparison to the 216.6 CFM the Iron Eagle could move through its intake port and 157.1 through the exhaust. Take a look on this chart. Between 200 and 500 thousandths valve lift, which is where the engine is doing its heavy lifting, the Dart head averaged 22 more CFM through the intake and an amazing 30 through the exhaust. That's improvements of 13 and 28 percent respectively. And finally, it was time to put these heads on an engine and put them to the only test that really matters, power production. For our dyno test, the short block is fairly standard Chevrolet 350. It's got a scat crank and rods with molly pistons. The camshaft is fairly standard, it's 248, 252 with about a half inch lift. We'll start off with the stock heads and see what a freshly revived set of Chevrolet 882s are really worth. To help keep things equal, we use the same 1.5 to 1 ratio comp cam steel rockers. The intake is Dart's excellent dual plane unit and the carburetor is a box stock Holley 650 CFM 4 barrel. The camshaft is a solid flat tappet and the rockers were lashed at 25,000 for the intake and 22,000 for the exhaust and both ends. First up, we're the rework check. Just like on the flow bench, the performance is respectable, especially considering how much work Dorton put into them. The torque peaked at 397 at 4500 RPM, and it produced 382 horsepower at 5500 RPM. Certainly, no stock 882 head can touch these numbers, and we're pretty certain all the improvements we made put these heads well within the range of the more desirable double hump head. Up next, we dusted off the Dart Iron Eagle heads and bolted them up. As you can see, we didn't even bother painting them. They are exactly the way they came out of the box, and after setting the timing back to where it worked best for the 882s, we allowed the engine to idle until the oil warmed up and then let her rip. Once again, where the numbers for the heavily reworked Chevy heads looked respectable at first glance, they got pretty anemic when compared to the mark the box stock Dart Iron Eagle cylinder heads put up. Where the stock heads plateaued at around 5400 RPM, the Iron Eagles matched that peak number by 4600 RPM and hadn't dropped back below it when we stopped the pull at 6500 RPM. The Iron Eagles put up a peak number of 446.6 horsepower which is an astounding improvement of 64.2 horsepower over the competition. The torque improved just as significantly, 437 at 4100 RPM, which is 40 better than the reworked stock heads. Overall, Dart's Iron Eagle cylinder heads outperformed our so-called bargain heads in every category. To get the Chevy heads just to the point where they can run on an engine, we spent nearly $350 more than it cost to just order up a set of brand new Dart heads. Add to that the power difference, and it's obvious that the modern technology Dart put into its Iron Eagle cylinder heads makes them simply unmatched when it comes to performance for your hard-earned dollar.